Hi everyone, welcome back to Tangent Talk. Today we are going to start brand new video series on minimal APIs in .NET. Minimal API template were introduced back in .NET 6.0 and still there. Why it's useful? Because it's a very smart thin project consists of just a single file and where that idea come from? I will give you an example but before that let me create a sample project to give you a demo. I will select a new project and here I will be selecting web API and I will select my folder and it will just take few moments and here you can see if you already on latest Visual studio you will see a checkbox use controllers and in, in basis there is unchecked to use minimal apis right so i will not select that one because i want to consume the minimal api template as soon as i click that one i have program.cs file where everything is in my single file although there is a separate class for the model i don't care about that at the moment i will simply delete this one what else i don't even need uh this here i will just return an anonymous object from here i can say all right so now you can see a single file this is the whole project at the top we have some setups some configurations and after that we have our endpoint configured we can have as many endpoints as we, we want and at the end we are starting the application so if you have a little bit knowledge about node and express you can see a lot of similarities between these two and we know that express js is way older than this one so if i quickly go to the google and try to search node express and i quickly open the hello world example from their own documentation you can now see this is the whole api right in a single file and at the top we have some configuration then we have an endpoint and at the end we are starting the application right so it seems like and i personally believe we are inspired from node.js to produce apis but this is my thought uh you can you can uh, read a lot of stuff on the internet all right so this is you can see uh an api let me remove all the extra things from here we just need a builder to build the app endpoint to expose to the web and we just need a method to run our application let me press ctrl f5 um it will not run this project i have to select that one and start the project okay as soon as i press ctrl f5 i will have that endpoint giving me name of small and this is as simple as that so if i have some other endpoints here as well for the timing i will be using the same map cat type request right so all those methods will be http cat types so by default if we hit the url of this uh, web api we should get something like uh, Mm, something like let me return a string welcome to the world of minimal apis in dot net 7 although that was introduced back in 6.0 okay as soon as i remove this one you can see that message welcome to the world of minimal apis not in 7 so this is how simple is that to build an api due to that that template and uh, how we are going to test those endpoints so it's difficult to move you know back and forth with the browsers for that one there is a very handy feature by dotnet which is we can now add a new file we can name it um anything let's say endpoint dot and anything with extension of http right and now we can just expose our endpoints here we have a cat request and the url of cat request is um this one and this is a very handy feature because we will be developing those apis as well as we will be documenting 
all those endpoints in a single go so as soon as we have mentioned the endpoint you can see there is a run icon appearing start appearing at the start of this line so as soon as i click on this one i get response on the same visual studio without going back and forth with the browser so this is how it's very useful and i can add as much as endpoint as i want so what if i want to add one for weather forecast so i will be using this one here and i will be replacing this one from here all right so if i click on this one i am getting the error uh the expert is not ex exported for get request how can i have multiple uh so yeah we have uh, now one for the base url and we can have another one for the weather forecast endpoint and as soon as click this one i got the response on the same visual studio yeah so uh before uh wrapping up this episode i want to quickly update that get endpoint i'll say say hi and i would like to get the string as a parameter and i will say that endpoint is uh getting one getting a name of the user in the parameter uh user name like this and i will be returning um a string and uh that string would be using interpolation and i will say hi welcome to the minimal apis all right all right I, now i need to pass a parameter to that endpoint and from the adjustment point of view the you know base a url call should be at the top right so this one should be here um uh, it's not necessary but this is a good practice to go from you know very base url to the you know specific endpoints uh towards the bottom so uh say hi and i need to pass a uh, string to that endpoint and i will name it um say hi and i can pass this one um the name is equal to small and let me yeah i need to rerun the application to reflect that change and now as soon as i click on this one i am getting hi small welcome to the minimal apis and that will be working same as before so now uh, that's all for this video uh, we have started minimal api project we have added two basic get request to the same single file and we are passing parameter to that get endpoint all right and before wrapping up let me add a few comments um which will be helpful so here we are creating the builder and here we have all the endpoints and here we are running the application application all right so as clean as that so yeah that's all from this video in case of any question queries do ask in the comments and make sure to subscribe to get all those updates in the notification on time so stay tuned and keep coding